Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to configure VPN profiles for iOS devices. To do that, uh, I can go to the Microsoft Intune overview, then point to device configuration, profiles, create a new profile. These settings are very similar uh, that what we have done so far on other devices. Like I can choose here for a platform as iOS and then configure uh, as VPN. And here uh, I would be getting for all the predefined VPN uh, most popular servers. And if you don't find your server, for example, uh, here what you can see is here like Citrix VPN or Pulse Secure or Palo Alto uh, or Fi Access or Cisco and Connect. All these are the world popular, definitely. But if you don't have yours, for example, you have on your own on premises VPN server which is hosted on Windows Server, in that situation, you can what you can do is you can go to the con uh, configure as a custom VPN and then you can configure the requirements like uh, tunneling information and secure key exchange and authentication method as well as your public key of your VPN server or maybe FQDN which is registered uh, publicly. That configuration you can write down. Uh, now let's jump into the any of this uh, settings like uh, most popular uh, configuration would be Cisco AnyConnect. If I take uh, the Cisco AnyConnect, what I can do is I can go to the base VPN and give a connection name. So this is going to be for example uh, for a pack a VPN server example and then I can give this configuration name and followed by uh, I can give my IP address here of my public IP of my VPN server. Uh, how do you know all this information is you would be getting this specific information from your uh, firewall administrator or maybe a VPN server administrator uh, so that you can give that specific information here as it is. So in my case uh, my IP my admin has given as the IP 2.1.12.13. maybe as my VPN server and then uh, the authentication method what I'm choosing is the username and the password in that situation I would be choosing as the username and password and I can choose here uh, the options for the split tunneling or the full tunnel so I'm gonna split tunnel and I can see that hey I'm gonna allowing to you know, install and configure this profile for the Cisco any connect uh, so I can uh, accept the terms and conditions and then click OK so on my iOS devices once I have configured all these settings it's gonna create auto automatically the VPN configuration profile and you can check out here the additional configuration for the VPN uh, configuration this automatic VPN settings is nothing but where you can configure either for per app VPN basis uh, let's have a look on here uh, for example here per app VPN what happens is when I choose here app uh, specific then what going to what is going to be happen is it's going to be a the VPN connection to be triggered automatically when a specific app is open and uh, the you need to associate those apps with your VPN profile uh, so that it's gonna uh, configure that specific settings now if I choose as here as the on-demand VPN what is happening is this is more or more specific to conditional rules let me um, explain that with an example also so what's going to happen is it's going to configure your conditional rules uh, that control when the VPN connection is starts uh, for example if you take it uh, one of the example like you created a conditional access specific uh, where the VPN connection is only used when a device is connected to a company Wi-Fi network uh, or maybe you can create a condition that uh, if a device can't access a DNS search uh, search in the domain uh, where you want to you know enter uh, then the VPN connection isn't started uh, such configurations can be configured uh, with the on-demand uh, all these are the custom rules which you need to you know develop and you need to create it uh, what kind of you know configurations to be done and similarly the proxy settings also similar uh, what you can check out is like what kind of proxy to be um, configured here like pack file or the IP address of your proxy server and the port number uh, let's also have a look on it uh, on this specific like on-demand VPN you can give the specific established VPN connection uh, when a specific uh, action to be done for example a specific SSID is connected uh, then you want to you know uh, establish that uh, VPN connection or do you want to uh, disconnect a VPN if it is not in that uh, or specific SSID such configurations can be done uh, what we just talked about on automatic VPN similarly you can also configure for per app VPN as I told you know you simply have to enter that uh, URL so that is gonna uh, 
trigger or, or establish that uh, VPN connection automatically. But the more interesting part would be the on-demand VPN, um, which uh, which also works for the other access-related configurations here, uh, like evaluate each connection attempt, uh, which is uh, whether you want to you know, connect to, uh, if it is connection is needed, it's going to connect. If you if it is trying to access to these specific domains, then it's going to establish that connection. Or when the domains are resolved by using your DNS server, it's going to establish the VPN connection. That way, you are know that your users are coming from your on premises or maybe a specific uh, set of networks. So this is more specific design and uh, that kind of options what you want to you know configure. So I'm just uh, choosing as not configured now and clicking on OK and um, create a specific setting so it's going to be created VPN specific setting and later point you can assign for the users uh, for example I want to assign for all all finance uh, users example the specific setting uh, then I can choose select and click on save so this specific iOS uh, VPN profile is gonna apply it for all the finance users uh, that's how you're gonna configure this thank you for watching this